today we're gonna be driving this arctic oil tanker and there's a whole bunch of icebergs we have to dodge let's get started all right let's get this thing started up so there's a button right here that says start me and that's really all you have to do which is honestly one of the amazing parts of this ship so let's go ahead and turn on all this stuff here so i'm do we have lidar in this thing lidar here we go oh we do have lidar but it's um is that above water lidar or um below water i have no idea i have weather actually doing whatever it wants to do so whatever this game brings on i am prepared for not really but we do have a lifeboat okay so that is a perk of this boat but look at all these icebergs here can i show them on the map oh my gosh there is so many and we have to like drive around the island oh this is gonna be so interesting okay so where's like our rudder control at? let's turn on some lights here what is poop search lights okay um yeah we want that on of course whatever that is i know that's like something in a boat somewhere but yeah let's turn on some of our um spotlights just like that and there we go now we are actually looking like an oil tanker but we are actually floating very high like I'm pretty sure our water line is supposed to be near that red line. That's um, quite interesting. We are floating pretty high because we actually aren't um, hauling anything right now, but we might. Okay, so all of our um, tanks right here that are supposed to be filled with oil are not full. What we're going to be doing is kind of squeezing through these icebergs, and I'm going to probably stop this thing here in a bit and give you a bit of a tour because this actually has one of the coziest interiors, um, especially if we're in the Arctic. It's just really cozy. Oh, we're going straight for an iceberg. Okay, we need to turn. I cannot be um, doing this already. Okay, so where's this thing's rudders at? This thing actually turns like very good. Oh, that's our rudder. Okay, so this is, it's a constant. Oh my gosh, this thing really can turn. Okay, okay, don't, don't turn into the iceberg. Okay, so I think we're doing fine. We just have to squeeze through here. How about we stop the boat right now going through here so then we can give a bit of a tour and we're kind of being covered by this iceberg right here from like some wind and maybe even some snowflakes because we don't want a whole bunch of snowflakes on deck but yeah guys this is the bridge here this is a um, navigation bridge with an entire light bulb that we can actually launch off the side of this thing but yeah here's a huge map right here this is actually ginormous but let's see what's down here hold on why are the lights not on i thought i turned those on okay so we must be having some electrical issues already because the lights aren't on is there like a separate light button for these rooms here um oh there is okay so this is my captain's room right here so this is where I can go on my computer and um, look at some stuff. And then in here is my grand bathroom. Oh, yo, yeah. Bath then we have a chief engineer room with an entire bathroom in here with a walk-in shower with a clear view of when the engineer is taking a shower. This ship clearly thought of security first. But um, it is getting a little bit chilly, so we're going to put on some thermal clothing just like that. All right, all right. It's getting uh, pretty dark down here. I really wish these lights were working, but this is the mess room so like dinner and stuff let's turn on that heater but yeah here's the dining area and then we have an entire kitchen in there why don't we go ahead and start the ramen noodles while we're at it so let's activate some burners and the burners aren't even working not even our coffee machine is working okay so we are having some really um we're off to a really bad start right now guys i can't even turn on the oven to make ramen noodles guys i think we're having electrical issues down here and then over here is some um little crew cabins so this would be like i don't know the person that fills this thing up with oil and cool stuff like that but then we have an entire storage room in here with um some box label things and yeah so whole bunch of mail in here i think we're transporting mail also for a little bit so yeah it's pretty cool then we have a shower right there with an absolutely uh, massive porthole hold on is it picking up outside do you guys see it? it's like really foggy oh my gosh um maybe it's just because we're looking at an iceberg okay we need to hurry this up because something might be going on right now out there um where how do we get down another floor it's like somewhere over here right um workshop oh what kind of bathroom is that oh here we go this is the um engine room right here all right so this is where all the fun stuff happens okay so there is oxygen mass down here which is a little bit concerning which means this thing could probably fill up with water but there is a whole bunch of controls right here on what's going on inside of these engines so this is an absolutely beast of an engine this thing has one of the most powerful engines in this game 100 so let's go ahead go in here turn on some heaters while we're at it and this is our like breaker room and a whole bunch of um information room so let's turn on Oh, we don't want that on. Let's turn on some displays here just like that. Wait, what did I just turn on? Um, okay, I don't want that on then. But yeah, we can see like fuel and air pressure. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so let's go back up here to the bridge and actually get this party started. We need to start driving this thing and deliver some oil. All right, yeah, I can definitely tell got a little bit more foggy out here, but um, we are in the Arctic, so what do I expect? All right, we're gonna full throttle here. Um, probably don't wanna actually full throttle. We'll be on like 70, there we go. All right, so we have to dodge all these icebergs. This is going to be interesting. Should we turn right? Oh my gosh, we're at a really big list right now. Is it from the waves? It is a pretty wavy out here. So let's turn the throttle up just a little bit. All right, our RPM 
air pressure all right let's um should we turn right here no we definitely can't make that okay turn left turn left turn left turn left oh gosh oh gosh okay full throttle we need to absolutely hammer this thing but yeah this is actually a pretty cool boat on deck here so we have a whole bunch of structure lights and that actually looks like an oil tanker when it's at night i don't know if it's gonna be nighttime today oh gosh i'm really bad at driving this thing guys we are going full starboard right now oh gosh yeah just a little bit concerning all right let's even it out here so we want that to be at zero so that's like our rudder control so if it's at zero that means we should be going in a relatively straight line all right i think we're clear for now i don't see anything um up ahead besides that thing right there but i don't see anything directly in front of us so i think we're clear is there anything on lidar um i don't think so even on lidar we don't have anything in front of us i don't know if that's underwater or over water oh my gosh are these waves picking up what is going on over here hold on what oh there's like a rogue mini tsunami going over okay that's why we're at this oh oh no don't capsize what in the world is going on with this thing oh my gosh what this thing just capsized just like that what kind of boat is this oh i think it's um gonna flip back over here all right when it flips over we need to turn wind all the way down okay we're not trying to capsize again what in the world was that this thing flipped from a mini tsunami i don't even want to know what this would do to an actual big wave i'm pretty sure i tested this boat actually am i um which boat can survive the tsunami the best i tested it wait do we have an alert um engine is stalled oh oh no restart the engine oh no our engine is stalled guys what in the world okay restart the engine there we go okay that was a little bit concerning there i heard some like alarms blaring at me and i was like what in the world is going on i mean we did just capsize so i'm not surprised we had alarms going on but um oh we actually were in like a straight collision course of some islands right here okay so probably good that that happened i mean not really but let's just continue going up here in a straight line why is it turning left okay there we go now it's starting to even out but yeah let's do some paperwork while we're over here oh yeah and then let's um helm is working in maneuver mode wait maneuver mode what is that okay anyways yep 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 let's um actually probably probably try um practicing how you'd launch this thing in case of a real emergency okay so we have a clear um path in front of us i'm pretty sure so in here this is uh the emergency beacon uh click that to launch it we do not want to do that yet and then we have a actual bilge pump in this thing which is actually insane for this type of lifeboat and then that is our engine directly under the captain so if that thing blows up the captain is going to blow up also which is an absolutely lovely thought to think about but yeah this is the boat guys pretty cozy little thing let's turn on uh some heaters here why do some heaters have like buttons and then some have like the key buttons that's a little bit interesting but uh yeah let's see here lidar and our stabilizer so uh, we're pretty stable right now so what do these do um let's turn on what is this manual start dg like what does that mean i know it's like some type of battery but who knows okay steering yeah these are some pretty uh rough patchy waters right now and oh wait there's a bridge up here do you guys see that hold on we have a bridge directly in front of us right there okay so that might be an issue i think we're actually we might be floating a little bit too high to actually go under the bridge but what we're gonna do right now is throttle down a little bit we're gonna go in our ballast tank operator room and we're gonna try filling some ballast here to hopefully fit under that bridge okay so the ballast tank operator is probably in one of the dumbest spots ever but it is outside of the boat so you have to go outside of the boat to actually see your um ballast tank that's it might be a thing in real life how that works but yeah i don't know um how does this work okay this is our ballast displays right here so how do we like fill them okay so ballast we click start and it's not working oh now we got a, a cargo plan wait what we can start a cargo plan okay click start starts not working guys oh my gosh why oh create and then start there we go okay oh from okay so from oh my gosh that's actually so cool so we can make an entire cargo plan in this thing that is actually insane okay this is a cooler ship than i thought it was just because of that oh we're getting really close to some icebergs here um why are we turning off course we're supposed to be continuing straight we need to go back up to the helm immediately dude this thing is going like port side rudder currently i don't know why oh it's really turning it's really turning go 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 oh we're in an iceberg okay turn oh we are port side oh my gosh i didn't even realize but the waves are definitely picking up as we speak they're probably about half the size of this thing so not too bad here so let's full throttle so we can get some pretty good turning out of this thing just like that and we need to actually go back down there and figure out how to fill them ballast because we are not going to fit under that bridge if we don't figure that out oh my gosh this thing is really at a lean okay this thing is a little bit concerning it's kind of scaring me right now okay we'll do that let's go back down here and try filling these ballasts because that's definitely something important here i'm um, empty okay um how do i fill how do i click fill on these ballast tanks um okay i click these two buttons right here and it's like trim alignment so it'll fill and drain the ballast depending on how level we are which is probably 
not that useful because we're in pretty big waves right now oh okay you know what we're just gonna hammer it here we go i'm sending and i am tired of this oil tanker job all right we're just gonna go forward here because i'm not trying to go under that bridge all right we're going in a straight course here nothing's popping up on lidar here so i think we're perfectly fine oh yeah best boat ever honestly so let's do some more paperwork down here turn on my heater and let's hop in the sea right here okay do some more um paperwork where are we even going today i don't even know we probably should have um scheduled this a little bit more but there is a career series in this game and let me know if you guys would like to see some videos on career because career is actually pretty cool so you can transport oil and all that fun stuff doing it by train um plane a whole bunch of other stuff but we have some portholes here looking outside um we don't actually have any crew today let me know if you'd like to see an oil tanker video with people on board because that is probably a little bit more fun here but yeah it's looking good here let's um go on bridge here let's do some iceberg navigating and let's see if we have any um active current threats going on outside the boat okay so we want to get to a higher deck here just like that there we go all right okay it's a little bit um foggy out here matter of fact it's really foggy i can barely even see anything okay you know what? we need to get on top of this guys it is like so foggy out here i can't even see in front of us there's some icebergs over there that we need to watch out for but or else it's clear honestly so i don't think there's actually any sharks or krakens in the arctic because it's too cold for them to survive which is honestly probably one of the best things ever because we're not trying to get attacked by any of those things so let's go up here on the bridge i'm tired of being out here it's a little bit too cold oh yeah okay so we have some light belt stuff here that's actually just for props it doesn't actually uh, do anything but then we have a whole bunch of garbages out here so are these like recycle bins i don't even know that's actually pretty cool and then we got an iceberg passing here on our left that is absolutely a beautiful one right there hold on let's get a closer view there are penguins in this game so that'd be interesting seeing if there's any penguins but i honestly don't think there are penguin wait how big is this iceberg here um oh gosh oh wait hold on is this iceberg like in front of us still oh it definitely is okay no turn 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 guys it's not turning oh no oh we just hit the iceberg oh gosh okay do we have any alerts oh oh we have alerts going on we have alerts oh we're taking on damage we're taking on damage i think oh this ain't good oh oh we definitely have damage oh it just oh oh our main battery's on fire hold on our our battery's going down guys uh we have an alert in here what is this main battery low charge oh yeah it just blew up that's why it has a low charge all right um full emergency stop full emergency stop i think we're taking on water somewhere in this thing right now okay full emergency stop stop this thing and uh let's even out the rudder here just like that okay so we had a little spike right there i wonder what that was all about um that was quite interesting um we do have a massive hole in this thing and i think there's even some damage below the water line here a little bit concerned oh what just happened on the front of the boat hold on i think we have more warnings here low depth fuel low low distance um what is this um we just had a major explosion on the bow of the ship right now we might have to um start sending some emergency signals out guys because that was definitely not uh something this thing should be doing oh gosh guys uh we may be taking on some heavy amounts of water here in the front oh 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 gosh there's so much damage down there we're really listening right now um our engine does still work so why don't we try throttling out of this and try um having our stabilizers kind of level it out because stabilizers really only work if we're actually moving here so why don't we keep moving and put our rudder um to normal so this is a active emergency right now guys i'm a trained captain though so i'll try um getting this thing level but we're really listening to the left currently so we are definitely having some issues oh gosh but do we have any um more active warnings on here i don't know if we do but our fuel like cap is going on and off on and off okay it's kind of kind of being a little bit annoying here but we're gonna manually start dg is that our backup generator uh i don't know what does that even mean guys what is that even mean oh oh there's a bridge in front of us okay we need to dodge that we're not trying to hit the bridge today and we're going full starboard oh gosh okay so we're gonna go around this bridge just like that all right and then we'll level it out here then we'll go straight through that side right there it should turn that way at least there we go all right so starting to turn that way perfect perfect but we're gonna start our backup generator here just like wait it's not turning it's not turning turn oh oh my gosh this is really going bad guys um wait where's reverse we don't have a reverse don't we oh yeah we do okay it's number one okay reverse is on we're on full reverse oh we're gonna capsize what's going on here we're gonna capsize guys something is going on with our stabilizer i'm trying to i'm trying to level it out it's just not working okay put it in drive now put it in drive oh guys we're really listening here we're really listening something is going on under this thing oh there's like water pouring in wait hold on what oh gosh guys okay that's an issue that's definitely an issue oh don't hit the bridge again no oh my gosh um wait yeah we definitely hit it again okay throttle down throttle down we're gonna capsize we're capsizing oh gosh um guys we're slowly capsizing we're slowly capsizing i can just feel it 
Okay, we, you know what? Maybe we should get on the lifeboat here. But first, we need to check what's going on down there. Because we cannot leave this boat without figuring out what was going on this entire time. Because I'm actually a little bit concerned right now. Our portholes are going underwater. Oh, gosh, guys. This is really bad. Everyone, wake up. This is an active emergency. If you haven't woken up from us crashing into an iceberg and the bridge two times. But, yep. um, Guys, it's going down, guys. I feel like it's um taking on water down here somewhere. There's actually not water down here. Uh, we just capsized. We literally just capsized okay that's lovely um now everything is upside down the ceiling is now the floor okay that's lovely um how do i get out of here is there like an escape patch somewhere um oh that's all underwater oh gosh guys i'm a little bit scared down here oh there's like oh um oh the water's going over the cabin um that's a little bit concerning i'm not gonna lie it's and then there's exhaust going in here so we're having some backflow right now there's exhaust and the cabin is being filled with water oh guys this is not good at all we can't even go in the lifeboat oh Oh, we kind of flipped back over us, kind of steering it with our bow thrusters. Oh, we're going back over. We're going back over. Oh, no, we're capsized completely. Oh, oh, um, guys, we're completely capsized this time. And there's just a little pocket of water right here that we can still see through to the actual sun. Will this be the last time I'm going to see the sun? I hope not. I'll just I'll open the door and get out of this thing if that's the last time. Oh, no. Navigational bridge. Oh, keep that closed. Keep that closed. It's not closing. Okay, there we go. What kind of water pressure is going on in this thing? Well, this is absolutely lovely. Um, Oh, my gosh. Wait, there's water in here. What? Why is there water in here? Oh, gosh. We can see if there's like a shark or something coming okay this is a little bit scary this is a little bit concerning i'm not gonna lie hopefully we don't see anything abnormal down here but if we do i don't even know what are we even supposed to do if i do see something like actually that's um a little bit concerning wait i think it's like going down from the front oh it definitely is we're sinking actually oh okay i thought we were just capsized but it's actually going down like going completely vertical okay so i think this is our actual time right now to get out of this thing so wait um let's open this back door here oh it's not underwater oh it's going down guys it's going down okay um can we get in the lifeboat oh the lifeboat's damaged a little bit okay that's fine that's fine who actually needs the lifeboat not to be damaged i'm not surprised okay so how are we supposed to get in it um we have to open that door there and then is there a seat i can jump in okay we're gonna kind of go for it here we're gonna jump and click f oh no we didn't get a seat okay we're gonna try again all right we're in the lifeboat now guys but um i don't know if it's actually gonna be able to launch off uh wait it's definitely not gonna be able to launch off because it's not even the right way um Okay, so maybe when it sinks, we will be able to actually um, flow back up. Okay, so that's kind of how I'm thinking of how it's going to be. But we are going down right now, guys. I'm, I'm going to actually click launch right now um, and start our engines just to like prepare to actually launch. So launch is on. So this thing is completely loose. It's not even connected to this boat anymore. We're going to turn on all of our emergency beacons right now. Okay, there we go. And turn on bilge pumps because we do have some damage in this thing. Oh, gosh, guys, it's going down slowly. It's going down slowly. I can tell you that. Oh, is it at the bottom? No, it's definitely not. It's pretty deep over here. It's going down, guys. It is going down. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is get some oxygen mask. Oh, that's not. Wait, what? We don't have oxygen mask in here. I thought we did. Okay, we have thermal binoculars. Okay, those are expensive. These are expensive little things, guys. Oh, we're going pretty low every wave i feel like we're going we're sitting a little bit lower which is a little bit concerning but um actually we want this thing to sink so our lifeboat can actually float and we can get the heck out of here okay guys i did find a flare gun in this thing but i'm not gonna shoot it in here that's the dumbest thing I wait we're going down slowly hold on i think we were going down hold on are we going oh it's going lower oh we're definitely going lower oh let's go let's go keep going lower keep going lower oh gosh guys that door right there is getting really close to being underwater but when that's underwater it's gonna flood this thing really fast okay so there we go there's some water pouring in oh oh no eh, that wasn't it oh it's so close to completely sinking are we at the bottom i don't know if we are or not i don't think so no we're definitely not at the bottom so we have plenty more rum left to sink okay there we go water um has barely been touching the light bulb right there. That door is like completely underwater now. Oh, there we go. There we go. Please sink. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. What we're going to do now is full throttle here. So full throttle. There we go. Right, we're at like six RPS. Wait, are we connected still? Um, I think no we're not okay so there we go water is touching the lifeboat hopefully our lifeboat door is closed which it is okay will this thing actually float we have launch on it's not actually um why aren't we floating hold on there we go we're floating go go i'm full throttle i'm full throttle right now i'm trying to keep this thing without um going down with the ship there we go oh guys i think the boat has just sunk oh wait no it hasn't okay i'm just trying to keep this thing up it's not launching there we go there we go we did launch it oh 
There we go. We have escaped the sinking ship. That was so fun. Okay, there we go. That thing has just completely sunk. That thing's going down much faster than it was a couple seconds ago. But there it goes. It's at the bottom of the Arctic Ocean. That is insane. But now we escaped in this little light boat. Why don't we go ahead, open our emergency hatch here, and oh, launch a flare. There we go. Launch a flare just like that. Okay, we actually made it through that hole. That's surprising. There we go. Emergency flare has been launched. Coast Guard should be here in a couple minutes. But that's probably going to be it for this video. Let me know if you'd like to see some more sinking ship survivals. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, hit that bell, turn on notifications while you're at it. But thanks for watching and goodbye.